Hi hello welcome back so today we will be seeing everything about mock surgery how to code in CPT okay so today's topic is mock surgery from integumentary system that is 10,000 series code this is an important question for CPC exam so understand it very carefully uh, do maximum at least 10 to 15 questions from this so that it will be easy for you so for coding this mock surgery what all contents we will be discussing today that is first is what is mock surgery and what is the indication for the mock surgery how many stages of mock surgery are done how many blocks are removed how to code mock surgery so these are the things which we are going to discuss today and i have added nearly three to four examples in this slide so that you can utilize that example also for working out so as i said first we'll get into the definition mock surgery is also known as mock's micrographic surgery it is mainly used to remove high risk skin cancer okay so mock surgery is done to remove the high risk skin cancer You can read the definition, you can pause it and you can write and keep the definition in your notebook. Okay. Then like for documenting the provider's dual role, uh, you have to check it very clearly. Like the provider, the doctor who is doing this mock surgery must be the surgeon as well as the pathologist. Then only you can assign the mock surgery code. If, uh, the, if two doctors are doing it separately, then mock surgery code should not be given. That procedure could be show uh, like... We should code pathology code separately and uh, 10,000 series separately. If it is done by the same doctor only, you have to assign mock surgery code. For coding this mock surgery, the main important thing is first you have to know about the location and you have to see how many stages has been removed and third you have to see how many blocks removed from each stage. Okay, so uh, the location is clearly mentioned here and when we entering into the code sets okay so uh, as i told you it is mainly uh, involved into the skin cancer so for removing this like uh, we have to check the location like which anatomical part and then you have to say from that anatomical part how many stages are removed and from the stages how many blocks are removed okay these things you have to be very clear while coding this mock surgery so mock surgery codes are 17311 so the anatomical area of 17311 is head neck hand feet and genitalia so it in uh, the 17311 is given for the first stage and the first stage includes five tissue blocks 17312 is an add on code for head neck hand feet and genitalia so that stage also include five tissue blocks so for additional stages we will be using 17312 so again if uh, the anatomical area is changing to uh, the trunk, arms and legs, we have to use 17313 and 17314. 17313 is a main code, that is a first stage code and it includes 5 tissue blocks. 17314 is an add-on code, it also includes 5 tissue blocks. So next is the add-on code 17315. So for the remaining, like whatever additional blocks are uh, like uh, it's remaining, we have to use 17315 for coding additional blocks alone. So in this, I have uh, added an example so that uh, it will be easy for you to understand the coding pattern. Now we can see uh, the examples of that. And one more thing before that you have to know one thing okay if multiple lesions are removed okay if multiple lesions are uh, removed during the same session itself you have to code it separately now we'll uh, enter into the example so for coding this uh, as i told you keep again in mind first you have to know about the location second you have to know how many stages of lesions are removed and third how many blocks are divided from each stage first is location second is stage third is how many blocks removed from each stage so we'll get into the example here in this example the patient's squamous cell carcinoma location is tip of the nose so here uh, nose is the location 
from nose first stage is divided into eight blocks second stage is divided into five blocks third stage is divided into three blocks so as i told you all the stages will be having five blocks included so for first stage it's it is said like eight blocks no so one seven three one one for additional stage you will give one seven three one two and one seven three one five is for the remaining blocks that is the three blocks which is remaining from the first stage that's why we are giving one seven three one five into three this is the second question these all are simple questions only you can uh, note down as well as i have given the rational also so that you can understand it very properly try to do like what uh, i have to mention here is like uh, if you take 10000 series no when you are preparing for your cpc exam if you are doing 10000 series underlying each topic we will be having lot of uh, topic like a uh, debridement topic is there um, like what to say biopsy topic is there so whatever topic is coming under that mock surgery is there so from each topic try to do at least 10 to 20 questions so that you will be very familiar like how to work out the question how to to find out the answer how it uh, how it is easy to solve those questions so that it will really help uh, you for clearing your cpc exam with better percentage without working out now when you find uh, when you try to solve the question in the cpc exam it will be difficult for you so do at least 10 to 15 questions from each topics okay so next uh, like uh, for conclusion we can say like mock surgery no it's a very very easy topic at least two questions from from uh, this mock surgery will be asked during the cpc exam so you can easily score no like if you have a proper knowledge regarding that it is very easy to score from this topic so that's all about uh, mock surgery thank you so much for watching my video if you're watching my channel for the first time please do subscribe and if you find it useful please do share it with your friends also you can take notes from this and write down the examples also and keep so that it will be really helpful for you at the time of your exams okay so thank you so much thank you for your time for watching this video take care we will catch up in next video